So using the letters in the word English, how many distinguishable four-letter arrangements can be formed if the letters can be repeated? Now, if this is a, a situation that they want us to work with, they have to state it. Because typically a question like this, when they give you a word like this, kind of in bold, the idea being that we're allowed to use those letters and move them around, the implication is that you cannot repeat them. They're like Scrabble tiles. Okay? If you've got an E, you've got an E. You can't repeat it. But in this case here, they are telling us, no, no, in this case it's okay, you can repeat it. So we've got four different positions to fill. Okay, those are my four subtasks. How many different ways can I do this? Well, how many options do I have then for the first, the first letter? Well, the answer is there are seven, because there are seven letters in the word English. And then because I can repeat them, I get seven, and then seven, and then seven. So seven to the four, or 2,401. Okay? So that's if you can repeat them. Now over here, this is a, probably a more natural way for this question to go. You're not allowed to repeat them. Okay, that's, that's more in line with what I would expect with this. Still got four letters here, but I got to start with an E this time. Well, how many choices do I have uh, for E? How many E's are there in English? Well, there's only one, so that means I've only got one choice for that first position. But now after that, okay, after that I got to ask, well, okay, how many, is there, is there any restriction on this? Well, yeah, it, because I can't repeat them, it can't be an E. So that's the only, there's only one number it can't be. There were seven to choose from, so that means now there's six. Here, for this position, is there anything it can't be? Well, it can't be whatever these two were, so now there's got to be five. And this one here would have to go down to, to four. So I just go to my calculator and enter that all in, and we get 120. 